Take two. Insider back with another video and as you can tell from the intro of this video this is take two this was just supposed to be a, be a little bit of a hat reveal along with the review well I'm still gonna do the hat reveal I'm still gonna do the review but three well to be honest lids is kind of on my shit list right now so I'm also gonna give a little bit of a rant as well why not so anyways, we got the Fog Essentials in the house, the new Fog Fitted Hats. Now me, I love Fear of God hats. I love Fear of God Fitteds. I don't have as many as I want, but I am comfortable with the ones that I do have. And I'm a big fan of the brand. Going with that Fear of God Dodgers side patch, I thought that was dope. You know, we got the navy, we got the navy, we got that dark green. Dark green, forest green. We got the brown mocha. Woof. And then we got the black joint. So yes, I have some Fear of God hats. I don't have all of them, but once again, I'm a huge fan of the brand. And when these new Fog Essentials dropped not too long ago, I knew I had to pick one up. I didn't know if I was necessarily a big fan of the whole pinwheel look or like the half a two-tone look. I don't know exactly what you want to call it. But there were four different colorways. There was a black and white, yellow and white, a red and white, and then lastly, a green and white. I have one in my possession, and honestly, this is not just going to be a rant, but this is some damaged goods, y'all. <sighs> Let's get it. Let's start out with the hat reveal first, honestly, and then we'll progress our way up. So once again, the new Fog Essentials dropped. A couple weeks ago, it's probably going on a month at this point, but these hats were interesting. And in hand, they honestly didn't look half bad. But yes, I decided to roll with the red variant because I was not able to get the, the regular mono red from the last drop. So I'm like, all right, I need to grab a red one. But this one, it's interesting. They obviously switched things up a little bit. And first off being the tonal... Fear of God logo, obviously totaling with the off-white or the cream there on the front. Really cool aspect. I like that. I like that. I'm not going to lie. New era, not flag, but script, as they tend to do. Got the Batterman in tonal, matching up with that red. So the entire Batterman in tonal, there's no white. Looks really good. Regular gray UV. White guts, obviously, if you guys know Fear of God or have Fear of God hats, the guts is kind of like a, it looks like a worn white guts, like it's been worn before a couple times, you know what I mean? Cool thing about this hat in, in particular, along with this collection, usually when they do these kind of hats, this part, the crown, is usually made out of cotton, or at least that's what I've noticed. Cool thing is, the entire hat, is made out of wool, which is standard for fear of God. The crown, if you will, is actually made out of poly and not cotton. I don't like cotton, and especially if this part is cotton, like it, like it generally is on this like pinwheel half a two-tone look, it's usually cotton and it just looks cheap. So that's another reason why I honestly like these hats. I don't think they compare to like the regular ones or like the regular monotone, but they're still really, really cool nonetheless. Got all your appropriate tags on the inside there. So you know you're not getting duped. But the one thing I will say, goodness gracious, look at how long this tag is, y'all. How long this shit is. 
If that's the only thing that I'm really picking or being picky from these hats or from this drop, is this. That's it. It's unnecessary and incredibly long. If I was planning on keeping this hat, which I'm not, I'll give you a re the reason as to why in a second. I would just, who knows, I might just snip this bitch off. Probably not. I just tuck it under, you know, kind of shorten that up a little bit. Fear of God Essentials, the red and white. The thing is, this is damaged. Not only is it damaged, but... Out of the last four or five years, probably four years that I've been ordering hats online, this is by far the most damaged hat I've ever gotten online. And it's not even close. And it's honestly, it's incredibly suspect. There it is. Hopefully the camera can pick that up decent. But yeah, look at how split that is, you guys. That is horrible. That is just awful. That's like... What am I supposed to do? Like, I'm not a seamstress. I'm not going to sew this shit back together and be like, mm, okay, it's it's good to go. No. And I've been trying to figure out on who to blame. Obviously, I'm not going to blame fear of God. Is there quality control? Somebody comment down, down below if there's actually quality control within New Era, or in this case, within Lids, because I did order this through Lids.com. I feel like I have to blame this on somebody, so I... I would say New Era gets like 80% and the other 20% is the people who are doing the shipping there at Lids. Because this is awful. This sticks out like a sore thumb and it, and it sucks. I like the hat. I want to keep the hat. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is tag two. What I was planning on doing is bringing you guys along a little adventure. I was going to go to Lids. Well, I did go to Lids. But I was going to take you on an adventure do some recording inside of a lids, hope to do an exchange. I understand having to work at lids before. You can't bring in online product and expect to do it a return in store. So I was going to go in there, hopefully to do an exchange. I don't even know where to go from here. So lids is on my shit list for many reasons right now. First one being when I went into store to hopefully exchange that fear of God hat. But knowing me, knowing myself, I wanted to see if my local lids or any stores here in Minnesota carry the new fear of gods. Lo and behold, I did my research. I went on the, the lids link on their Instagram. Absolutely no lids in the entire state of Minnesota got these fear of God essential hats. So right away, I'm pretty much screwed without having to do the whole online bit, send it back, this and that. I don't like doing that because it's going to take at least probably a month to get resolved. And knowing Lids, they'll probably do it f***ing wrong anyways. But I went into Lids, I wasn't even able to do the exchange because the dude who worked there told me, one of which he didn't actually know this, he actually had to call up his boss, which is funny enough, once again, Lids not uh, relaying information or being consistent with that information that they're given to each employee, to each <laughs> store. Wasn't able to do the exchange in the end because the product that you're exchanging has to be in store. Now, when I worked at Lids, that wasn't a real thing. Yeah, it's been a while since I've worked at Lids, probably a year and a half or so, but damn, does Lids change their whole spectrum of rules. Or maybe they don't change their rules, maybe it's once again miscommunication starting at the top, going all the way down to your DM, to your DM, to your store manager, and then so on and then so forth. It's incredibly annoying. And once again, I don't want to do the whole online bit with returning shit because I have to pay for the, re the to get it shipped, to get it returned. And then once it gets there, who knows? It's lids. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do an exchange, an even exchange. Yeah, sure, they say this, they say that, they say this, but I don't believe it. Prove me wrong. And even more so about lids, especially lids HD, that I have some complaining to do. And it's a little minor, but it still goes a long way. Now only have one option in shipping, and that's a flat rate $10. $10, you would think with the big corporate major entity that you would possibly 
be able to give better shipping options, especially cheaper shipping options. So you're essentially saying that if I were to get a hat on drop day on Lids HD, I only get one hat and it applies my 20% for my access pass. What, it just pays for shipping? That's all the access pass is good for at that point is what, it pays for shipping? I am finding more and more reasons not to shop at Lids, to shop at Lids HD. They don't necessarily need my money anyways. But it's not that. It's just the value of everything, y'all. It's just the value. Like, it, I, I literally, I, I cannot make sense of all this. So, I'm, I'm done. But that is it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the little hat reveal. The Fog Essentials. Not going to be able to, to keep it. Going to have to return it, unfortunately. Also, hope you enjoyed the rant. Let me know how you guys feel about this whole thing that I brought up with lids. Their shipping, blah, blah, blah. Their access pass basically being voided if you really think about it so what's the point but that is it you guys i'm the fitted insider you can find me on instagram at fitted insider leave this video a like comment subscribe